All right, I'll try to do this in less than 10 minutes. Um, some people ask me about uh, how I do my cutout animation with Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to go over that real quick. Uh, yeah, so I'm not going to be able to go over every single step. There's all kinds of tutorials online that go over these little things. I'm just going to show you some of my process. All right, so um, we're going to do this with drawn art. So you'll see what we have here. I'm going to open up in Photoshop. Is a drawing that uh, my friend Sean Boyles did of this dude for this animation uh, we're going to be doing. And so what you want to do is draw your character exploded so then you can put them back together again. So what do I mean? So if you look at this, let me turn these off. You'll see, see I just turned his arm off. So you draw them in pieces. So you draw whatever pieces you want to animate. So if you want to be able to bend the arm and the hand, and the hand is one piece, the forearm's one piece, the upper arm's one piece. As you can see, you can turn the head off, um, the legs. See that? Or actually, let's do that. See? It's all different pieces, so you can join them together. So just think about what you want to move. If you don't want to move the legs, or you don't want the, the legs to bend at the knee, then just draw the leg all one thing. But if you want the whole thing to move, draw them in pieces. All right, so if you want to be nice and make it easy, go through like I did and label these all so you right left so you know exactly what they are it helps in the next step so we're gonna open up this Photoshop file let me quit Photoshop um, no okay and we're gonna switch over to Adobe After Effects so when you open them up you bring them in here and the first thing you're gonna wanna do so you see you have all your stuff in here is let's isolate this stuff to make it easier okay I'm just gonna isolate the arm so to animate stuff in here we're gonna be rotating it so when you do that let me just show you see this thing right here is the pivot point let's make that bigger this is a pivot point so it's gonna rotate wherever this point is so by default it puts them in the middle of all the layers and that's not where you want it see if I rotate this it's gonna rotate it like that and that's not how an arm rotates so the first thing you're going to do is go through with the anchor point tool and move all the anchor points to where they're supposed to be. So you move them to where joints would be. Right? See that? So you're going to move these to where they should be for a natural um, movement. So you're going to go through and do every body part so that they all have their... Um, their anchor points in the right place. So once you have that set up, you have all that set up. So I did it like the sorry. So what you're gonna want to do, let's isolate this arm, is you're gonna set up a parenting relationship. So I'm gonna make it so the left hand follows the left forearm and then the left forearm follows the upper arm. So you'll see when I do this, um, I turn the arm and it turns the whole arm. Right? See that? Um, wish I could do. No, okay, well, whatever. But yeah, it's turning the arm. So if you want it to be more natural and you want the forearm to bend with the upper arm, then you can just do simple things like this. You set up simple expressions. So I'm going to turn an expression on here. I'm going to say this rotation, copy this rotation, but then times 0.5. So, now when I rotate this upper arm, watch this, you rotate. Now, it bends this one a little bit because it's rotating it ha half as much as this one. So if I didn't do that, this arm would fold over, so that's just a little expression you can do. So it helps you make the arm move um, in a more natural way. So once you do that, now let's go here. Half done guy. So I went through and did that to his whole body. So he's all set up so, you know, the foot's following the shin, the shin's following the thigh, and everything is anchored to his body, to his torso, which is one thing. Let's show you where's his body. Okay. So everything's anchored to this. I know. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah. So that's where everything, if you look through here, and you'll see that everything is parented at its root to the body. So see all the little parenting relationship, which you do. It's pretty easy, pretty easy to understand. And then I went through 
and uh, set up the expressions so that all the you know the sublimbs bend or rotate half as much as the ones in front of them. So then, um, you know, to animate them, you'd be animating these rotation elements, right? But you don't want to have to go through and open up all of these layers and have to do their rotation, right? So After Effects has these expression control effects. See right here? These expression controls. And they're to make things easier for you. So what I do is I create a null object and then I put all my controllers on. So let me show you what that means. So like here's just left arm. So when I turn this, it animates the left arm. So I don't have to go in and find the arm rotation. It's all here. So right in the leg. So the way you do that is that, let's say, we'll add an effect control slider. It's over here. And let's call this right leg. OK. Now it's right here. And then we'll go to the right leg. Where's my right leg? OK. And we're going to tell this, you copy this guy. OK. So now, to move the right leg, all I have to do is go move this. And see, the right leg moved. So when I'm animating, you can actually go and highlight all these and turn on their shy switch and hide them all. So then all you have to look at are these and all you have to do is keyframe these which makes things a lot simpler. So now let's go to our guy that's done right and this is super fast I did all this like in 10 minutes so then I know this probably looks scary right but all I did was you know you have all the sliders for all the different body parts right and then all I did is just animate a simple rough walk cycle. And all I had to do is animate one cycle and then I use an expression but that's preset. It's in here. It's in property loop out. So it's just a loop, a set of keyframes. So now just by using these sliders and these keyframe things, you'll see now he's doing a very simple rough walk cycle. It's trying to cache it. Okay, so just with, what, three keyframes on each one, now he's doing a walk cycle. And it could go on forever, but this is just a four-second thing. That's why it kind of stutters, right? So then you have your walking guy, and he's walking in place. You notice he doesn't have the bounce, and he's not moving up and down. So I prefer to do that inside the composition where this guy's actually going to be animated. So then what I do is it take his composition. See, here he is, done guy. And I went ahead and went in here and put him in a 3D scene with a 3D camera. And then I just, this is just a solid that I masked into a tree. And then this photo in the background is actually this photo. It's just one photo, right? This is just a little trick. And it's super rough the way I did it in this one. Um, but it should give you an idea of what you can do. So then what I did is that I masked off the background of the photo and separated it from the from the foreground of the photo just very roughly and then I moved them apart in 3D space so if you see this one Z is zero and this one Z is like a thousand so they're actually you know apart in 3D space and that'll increase the parallax in the image and that's what you want to do too you want to offset stuff so it's kind of where it should be in real life so that when you move your camera through or whatever it, it moves it has parallax so it looks like real stuff so I'll show you what I mean um, and then I went ahead and you'll see I just animated him moving across and moving up and down with these simple keyframes so just from that now so as you can see now this dude's walking through the scene he has a little bounce in his step because I animated him up and down and you have some parallax going on with the tree or whatever's in the foreground and the, the two backgrounds actually so um, that's just a real quick way of how this cutout animation is done. And you know it's not meant for super accuracy, but it's meant for speed if you just want to animate something and get your point across. So you need Photoshop and After Effects, and that's about it. That's what I use, and drawings. So I hope you um, learned something from this. I know I skipped over a bunch of stuff, but you know, I only have 10 minutes. <laughs>